I have a cup of tea and I have a few minutes. And after speaking recently in an interview with Foundry Developers, I've spoke with Paul Watson and with Philip and Philip, also known as a mediocre dad, is the guy who developed, um, who's taken over the development of the Forbidden Land system and has also put together the official modules for it. And in our conversations in that stream the other day, um, there was a module that was being mentioned as a really useful module, which I hadn't really used, I have to say. And I found some time, a few minutes today, to look at it, what it actually does and what it is. And I have to say, I'm rather smitten. I'm rather impressed with it. So I, th I thought I'd share a few, few minutes with you guys to just show you a couple of things. And this one goes out to Philip. So to a mediocre dad, let me see whether I can get this on the screen for you, what I'm trying to talk about. Um, because somehow I managed to hide it. There we go. So what we have is this module here. It's called um, General Anchor Links. The link is, the readme is down in the, in the comments anyway. But yeah, this one here is a mediocre dad. JAL, Journey Anchor, Anchor Links. Um, and he shared a little bit about it with me in the interview. So if you want to watch that, go back a week or so. Um, it says here, it's a small library that augments some of Foundry's text editor functions to support section anchors for content links. So essentially what that does, as you may know this from websites, where you click on, click on a heading somewhere and it doesn't just take you to the page, but it takes you to the right section of the page. And that's incredibly useful, I think. So I played with it for about 10 minutes. That's all I did. And uh, the, the README and here underneath it, you get an example of how it works. But I'm going to show you that and how to do it. Again, I'm going to show you this. I think this is actually really cool. So let's have a look at my Foundry here. So this is my own local Foundry install. And um, I basically just bastardized one of my my installs for Forbidden Lands with a scene here. So what you might have as a, as a sort of use case, you might have a description of a town. Hopefully that's big enough for you to see. Basically what I've done here is I've just written, this is a rather long journal entry, isn't it? So I mocked up a really long entry that my, and then I put a couple of headings in. So if I, if you're not quite sure how to do that, basically select the text and then you select the format up here, heading one. Yeah, just took it off and I put it back in heading two. This uh, people is heading two, treasure is heading two, just as a mockup. So I have a long text structure with some headings. And if you wanted to have a, a quick reference to that, in the past, you would open Boss Grove, journal entry, and then you would have to use your mouse wheel and you would have to scroll down to find the right bit. But I always found very annoying. So what I ended up doing is I used to do lots of small slices of my journal entry and have a big tree of them um, on the right hand side. And then I could just link to the paragraph I wanted. And I also did that for rules references. So for example, if you had the combat rules, of Coriolis or something, I would have one entry for uh, how to use grenades, another one how to do non-typical damage like fire, and rather than having it all in one journal, just for ease of navigation. So let me save this for a moment. Um, so it's a structured text with a few headings. What can I know? What I can now do, and I've done it already, I think. Let me find it. Is I made a little index. And I'm first going to demonstrate what happens, and then I'm going to demonstrate how you do it. So here's my index, and basically it's got the same headings. <clears throat> I've got Boss Grove Place, I've got Boss Grove People, and Boss Grove Treasure. Those were the three headings. I had, if I click here on this one, it opens the journal entry, and you may have seen that. Yeah? Was, if not, I'm going to do it again. So it skipped the first lot of the text and went straight to the heading of the place. I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Oh, by the way, I haven't switched my chat on here. Just in case somebody wants to say something. Hello, watchers. You want to put something in the chat? Do. If I click on directly on people, whoop, it goes straight down to people. And if I click on treasure, it uses the same window, I believe. Yep, same window and goes down to treasure. So I can have a sort of index on the side that jumps to the right bits of the text that I'm interested in. That could be very useful. And you may think, oh, this must be magic. Do I have to roll for mishap because it's forbidden lands? You don't have to. It's actually really simple, but slightly fiddly. But let's have a look. So what did I do here? I basically have these somewhat, oh gosh, I wish I had used the other 
browser now because I could have made it a bit bigger. Um, let's see, can I can I fiddle this so you can see it better? A bit, yeah. I made them headings. So what I've done is I've done what I normally would do. I would go here to my right hand side. I take the text, grab it with the mouse, drag it on. Yeah. Um, why does this not work? <laughs> drag it on. False Grove text. There we go. And I get this little reference here. Add journal entry, then the, the, the reference behind it, and then a label for it. All you have to do, once you have this journal anchor links um, module enabled, of course, you have to enable it, is that you then put a hash in it. And then you can see it here, maybe better on the ones that I had, and then just type out the heading. So for example, I had people, let's make a new one. Let's make, what can we do after treasure? I don't know. Um, the traps, let's do some traps. Traps. So I enter that, I save it. I now see down here, reference boss Grove. Okay, I haven't renamed that. Let me just do that as well. So in the wavy brackets, I update it to traps as my reference. I then go back to my entry here. And I just grab a little bit of the text at the bottom and say, actually, from here on in, I'm talking about traps. Traps. So I make this a heading, and you can use, as far as I can see from the documentation, anything between heading one and heading six. You know, these predefined things. Yeah, let's, let's use a heading, heading three. Save it. So what if I, without this module, wanted to find out about traps, I would have to scan right the way through and go right to the bottom. Right. But I have this module. So I go to my index. And if I now click on this, what should happen, ooh, drum roll, is that it opens the journey link and goes straight down to traps. And it works. That by itself is pretty cool already, I think. The next bit, which was introduced already in August, so I'm a bit behind the curve here, um, is that you can use this for links. You can use this for map links. So this is, again, my my evening town here. Yeah, I already did these, but let's just take them out for a moment. I have a, a module, a, a journal entry here, just saying the houses of Moldena. And I'm just said, house one, a house with lots of stuff and so on. House two, house three. Yeah, when you copy and paste stuff, this is, might, might be how you get it from another module or something like that. But you might find it very fiddly to navigate. So what I can do here, is I can grab this module like I normally would do. Remember, pin cushion and background is pins are really useful for this as well as to show notes. I made another video about those. Put it in here like I'm used to. And in the text label here, I overtype it with a heading I want. So I put in house one, for example. I update that. And if I now click on it, double click. It jumps to house one. Okay, that was easy because house one is pretty much at the top, isn't it? So I've done the same here with house two and house three. House two scrolls right up to house two. And if I go to house three, it works the same as the other one. Now, I think there's a lot of potential in this one, especially for me not having to have quite as many journal entries, because if I can use these anchors, I just have one big journal entry and it will scroll to the right thing. Also means I don't have to constantly juggle different pop-up windows. So I'm quite charmed. And I think that um, Philip or Amy Diogadat, who put this together, has done something really cool here. It's a small module that only works in the background. You probably wouldn't know about it unless there's a dependency on, on a system. But have a look at it. Play with it. I think it's really cool. If you want to support him, yeah, to say thank you for this little module or even for Forbidden Lands. This coffee link is underneath in the comments. And um, if you like this sort of video, leave me a comment, leave me a like. If you want to buy me a proper coffee, not a coffee, but a coffee, you can also do that link below. But for now, my tea is almost gone, so I'm going to be gone as well. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed that. Nice and sweet today. So let me just find my finished screen. See you soon.